Hey Stackies, today I have the answer to um, a question that has kept me up all night um, on two occasions, um, and that's how how did they make burgers before the invention of um, a George Foreman? Um, and of course, um, no one knows, um, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to... Um, recreate it using recreate a burger using um technology that was available from before um george foreman grills or uh bgfg um as they say in the burger biz um so what i have is a waffle maker um and this is one that um it's just always preheated if you leave it at max um, I'm not going to, um, but what you need to do is, um, you need, uh, an oyster, um, an avocado, um, I can't say that without being demonetized, but a type of beef, um, and then maybe cheese. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, spray some avocado on it. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take about some of the, the hamburger meat. Um, and you're just going to... You're just going to want to put it on here, like so, and then press it down, um, and then just let it sizzle for a little bit. Um, you want the inside to be a firm 145 degrees, um, which means it's done well. So at about 20 seconds, you're going to want to check on it. Um, and that looks pretty good. Um, obviously, I doesn't, I don't think it's done yet. Um, but, uh, if you want cheese, what you can do is you can just go ahead and just, like, put some cheese on it. Um... And believe it or not, this might work. And there it is. There you have a burger. And then for the last and final touch, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put hamburger buns, um, but bun to bun, um, and you're just gonna put it in um, for a brief uh, second. It's gotta stew in there for a little bit. Um, you gotta have steamed buns stewed. Um, that should be good. Um, and then, oh, that's hot. Um, that's not good. Uh, you know what? I want a hamburger -y goodness, so I'm just going to take it off now. But, so you have this nice, you got, you got this nice bun, and it's got a nice char on it, so that, um, it'll go good with your, your hamburger. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a lot of historical lessons from this video.